It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and there's no love lost between these NFC South foes. Great game in store for y'all, next on Madden Football. The first open back in 1975. There's a look inside the iconic Caesars Superdome in downtown New Orleans. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Well, the Bucks getting ready to go on offense for the first time, and it's Baker Mayfield leading him out in his second season as a Buccaneer at his seventh overall. And he had a most impressive bounce-back season last year nearly leading his team to the NFC Championship game. That's not something you see every day, and he was rewarded for it as Tampa Bay decided to make him definitely their quarterback for the future. Now for him, he wants to prove it's not a one-year thing, and in fact, he is the long-term answer for this franchise. A first carry for Rashad White. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. And from the 34, here's second and four. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. The pass is caught by Kate Otten and brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucks have a first down. Well, the first drive here and the first time that we've called a big tight end's name, but I, I can assure you this, Charles, it, it won't be the last. No, it won't, because when he gets going, now it opens up opportunities on the perimeter because that would draw the defense towards him in the middle of the field. Now your wide receivers will get involved as this game goes on. That's taken in by Palmer. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. And Mayfield just getting the playoff. Throw left side complete. That's Evans. And Evans will have a Bucks first down as he'll take this down to the 44-yard line. But just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. First down, here's White. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. Ten yards there and a Buccaneer first down. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to linebacker spot, the secondary spot getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. So the completion good for seven there. 
And that's going to bring up second down. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go, and sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well drilled, well prepared, and excited to start this game. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Mayfield from the gun on third down. That is caught. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 12-yard line. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And the top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. Demario Davis there on the stop. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Now second and nine. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. It's been a pretty long opening drive. This will be play number 11 coming up on third down. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. So the completion good for six yards. And it'll be fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. They'll run for it. This is White. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. First and goal. A chance for an early statement here on the road. White is into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. And that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown. Strong in so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal, they've got to like the way that they started this ball game. Chase McLaughlin on for the extra point. And that one gives the Bucs a 7 to nothing lead. So that one a 13-play drive in total. And it was Rashad White who wrapped the drive up with a touchdown run. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Saints heading out for the first time, and there's Derek Carr at quarterback in his 11th NFL season now and second in black and gold. And Carr continues to produce good numbers on paper. He completed over 68% of his passes last season while also throwing 25 touchdowns to just eight interceptions. 
But as impressive as those numbers are, the numbers he's seeking, big numbers in the playoffs. And we expect him and his team to be back in the playoff mix when January rolls around. Carr going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 right at the 30. Now it's the veteran Jamal Williams. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from New Orleans. It's the Saints in possession. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. The tight end in motion right. The first carry now. This is Alvin Kamara. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Ten yards, good for his Saints first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? So after the run by Kamara, now another first and ten. Snap comes at one, and it's Carr. And down he goes, a bucket air sack. It'll be a loss of ten, and it'll bring up second. Well, they've been fighting and scratching and clawing for that first sack in the game, and it turns out to be a big one. Not just a short one right there behind the line. First one they get, 10-plus yards, and the guy who has the legs to escape most of these. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. And Shahid going to go in motion. Kamara up the middle. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. They get two yards back, but they're going to need a lot more than that here on third down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked by Antoine Winfield, Jr. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. And I think this is a situation where quarterback coach on the sideline is going to talk to a signal caller and say, listen, it's third and long, and it's still early in the game. Let's not force things here. If we don't feel good about it, let's just check something down and punt the football. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 nothing lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 nothing lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. Following the interception, Mayfield. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That incompletion certainly slows things down a little bit and brings up a very important call for second and long. What do you do? Run and try and get some yardage and make it third and manageable? Or challenge the coverage again, hoping for a bigger game? Second and ten. They defer to White out of the shotgun. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. 14 yards there and a Buccaneer first down. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurtling through them. Mayfield off the play fake. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. 
Well, this is a defense that's definitely on their heels now because they gave up the running play for good yardage one play ago. Now the pass here sets this offense up first and goal. They're going to have to dig in strong now because they've been in retreat so far in this drive. This offense on the march. Mayfield. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Down near the goal line, things really get physical. You're always anticipating a running play, but when they do throw it, things happen quickly. A little bit of a bang-bang play there that falls incomplete. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. Mayfield looks to throw. And Evans calls it in. Touchdown, Bucks. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Buccaneers go up by two touchdowns. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. McLaughlin for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it's Mike Evans who caps it with a touchdown reception. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So, they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. When you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Shotgun now for Carr. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. Well, congratulations to them. They come through defensively with another stop. And let's face it, this secondary, they've gone unchallenged so far in the first half. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. He'll look to throw. He's going to air one out. And this is taken in at the five. A big time play there for New Orleans. 58 yards. Ah, so often when we're watching a football game, we see one with a lot of ebbs and flows, and this one is no different. And sometimes you just need a big play to wake you up a bit. And they get one right there, that shot of caffeine this offense was looking for. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Here's Carr to throw. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. A.T. Perry from four yards out. And the Saints are back within a score. The touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion, this time for the score. I like how they stuck with what got them there, right? The big pass play. Got the momentum going, right? That's You create it with a play like that, and you come right back with another pass play to finalize things off. 
And a point after, good by Groupie. And that'll make our score 14 to 7. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And able to get this out to the 25. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three because remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. Slant around, going to be caught by Palmer. Loose inside the 30, inside the 10. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Trey Palmer, 75 yards. And the Bucs are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And we didn't even get a chance to settle in for that drive. A quick strike of 75 yards, and they find the end zone. Don't you get the sense that film study was behind this one, that they saw something that they thought they could take advantage of? The key is calling it in the right situation, knowing when it exists to go to it. They did exactly that. They've got to feel really good about what they did in advance of this game. Just looking down at the sideline now, their defense is like, man, can you have strung that out just a few <laughs> plays? Give us a break. Back out there. Hey, man, get that water break and get on out there and play. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And it's now 21-7. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Now we're going to get a timeout. Appears we've got an injured Buccaneer. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. And they'll send the tight end in motion. From the gun, it's a run for Kamara. And space tough to come by there as he'll get maybe a yard to the 37. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. From the gun now on third down, Carr. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. But I like their countenance. I like the way that they're having panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. 
He completes it to Alame. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. And a nice job by the two of them to not only connect on the pitch and the catch, but to carry over their practice work to the game field. They saw the adjustment by the defense, made an adjustment themselves, and picked up the first down. Now Carr. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Now they'll send a tight end in motion left. On play action, it's Carr. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. Carr. And he's going to go down. Sack back at the 13-yard line. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Third and goal, and still a long way from the end zone. Carr going to throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Jordan Whitehead. And the Bucs will take over here at their own 12-yard line. And the defense, Charles, they bent a little bit, but they did not break. And then on third and goal, there's a huge interception. Think of the momentum they're carrying with them right now, Brandon, because in their mind, whether they want to admit it or not, they were conceding three points. Their goal was to keep them out of the end zone, not give up a touchdown. Instead, they give up nothing. What a big-time play and a big-time stop by them. Well, the Bucs going to take over now late in this first half. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. Thirty-five seconds, all that remains in the first half as they come up on first down. Throwing, Mayfield. Delivering a pass here to Evans on the out route. So five yards here, five on the play, and it's second down. And I think he just wanted to get the ball to one of his playmakers to see if they can make something happen, but he ends up throwing into a crowded area, and after the catch, he isn't able to do much with it. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. A bit of a jump there, CD. He breaks the line, and that'll be five yards. And you've got to stay more disciplined than that, Brandon. That's just a free gift to the offense. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Buccaneers out on top. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. It was a solid first half for the running back, Rashad White. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. The Saints going to go on offense first, and they trail here as we begin quarter number three. The 
Solid return. Pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. Yeah, he tries to keep the legs churning, but he's going to be stopped behind the line. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They run it again with Camara. And he'll get this to about the 34, a gain of just three. Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Carr. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Well, if they have any designs on getting back into this football game in the second half, they're going to need to be much sharper offensively than they were on this opening possession. Not much happening here, and it'll lead to a fourth down. Here comes the Saints punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. The Buccaneers offense and Baker Mayfield set to take over once more. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. To throw Mayfield. Over the middle, he finds Godwin complete. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. Now Mayfield. Looking for Godwin again, and he's got him once more. And Godwin going to have a Bucs first down as he's up to the 43. It'll be a gain of six that time as it moves the chains as well. White, he'll try the left side. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. 57 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. And that good strong run could serve a little bit as a metaphor because White is someone who took a sizable leap from year one to year two. Essentially doubled his yardage output with over 1,500 yards from scrimmage. And that success appears to have carried over to this season. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 down at the 33. Palmer going to go in motion left. Here's Mayfield. Over the middle complete. That's right. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half.
That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. They are pushed back five yards by the delay of game, second and eight. Mayfield now. Out and out, and the ball is caught by Godwin. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 18. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Mayfield to throw it. And this is caught by Evans. And the Bucs are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Here's White. He gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. Second and goal from inside the five. Back to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. Godwin's got it. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. A great play there. Laying himself out in the end zone. And the Bucs have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Partner, they had a good lead as they went in at the half, and they came out here in the second half and found a way to extend it. I love their consistency. Don't worry about what they said at halftime. This seemed like a team that was ready to play 60 minutes, and while this game is far from over, I love their approach. McLaughlin now to add the PAT. He knocks it through. It's 28-7. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it's Chris Godwin who finishes things off with a touchdown reception. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. They'll bring the tight end in motion right here. Over the middle and complete to Shahid. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. And this is what they're going to need more of. It's the third quarter. You're trailing. You've got to come out with a renewed sense of purpose. And that's a nice way to kick off the drive with good yardage and a first down. Now Carr. Open man left side. Shahid has it. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. And that's the kind of play this offense needs to maybe kick them into gear a little bit. They've been stuck in neutral much of the game. Perhaps that can give them a little bit of confidence that big plays are out there. 
Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now Carr. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here live in New Orleans. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. Car to throw again. That'll be taken in by Shahid. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that will bring up second down. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. From the 22 now, here's second and three. They'll pound it up the middle with Kamara. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Car now to throw. Alave over the middle. And the Saints are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. Now, three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But they trim that lead down to just two scores. That's still a benefit to this squad. Three yards is the gain that time, second and goal. Well, there wasn't much there with that hitch route. They didn't gain what they expected, but sometimes when you call a hitch, you really don't have an alternate to go to. You don't have a second route to throw it to, so sometimes you have to rifle in there and hope for the best. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, OK, if we gain yardage on this play, this is what we'll do going forward. If we lose yardage, this is the play call that I'll have ready. Carr now on third and goal. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Levante David. He's got daylight. Sheds off the tackle. And it's a pick six. He brings it back to the house for a Buccaneer TD. Well, just to add that to the list of great moments for this defense today, they've really shredded that game plan on the other side all four quarters. And, Charles, that pick six, that's, that's kind of the cherry on top. Yeah, and they did it, and I feel like I'm quoting a bad movie line, but they did it together, didn't they? Fed off of each other, every big play they made, every tackle, every pick, everything they've done. They continually built energy in this one, and how about them culminating with a pick six? McLaughlin for the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. And now it looks like he's in some discomfort after being tackled at the end of that return. The medical staff will attend to him and we will step aside.
Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough go for them. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Well, they try to swing it on left into the flat. Complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. To throw his car. And the catch made by Johnson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Throwing now his car. Into the hands of Perry, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 11 more on that one, and another first down. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They can go ahead and mark it in the win column, but as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. Here's Carr to throw. Completes it to Perry. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Well, that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. Now Carr. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks' 29-yard line. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completion. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Levante David. And the Buccaneers will take over possession here up at the 44. All smiles and high fives on that defensive sideline. That interception will cap off what was truly a tremendous performance. Yeah, if you can hold a team to seven points in the NFL, that's the kind of day that you feel really good about. Now, I do know a few guys are going to think to themselves, held them to seven. If we'd made one more play, <laughs> could have had our shutout. Now the Buccaneer offense set to take over again. And as we look back at how we got here, you'll notice a common theme in these highlights. A lot of yardage through the air. The passing game has been sharp right from the outset. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Second and five. They keep it on the ground, wide again. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. The free safety roaming all the way up to the line of scrimmage to make that stop. How about his ability to trust his eyes and figure out it was not a pass play and go fast towards the line of scrimmage in order to make that tackle? On third down, a run from White. And he'll take this for a short gain on what will prove to be the final play of this ball game. 
So fire the cannons. It's a victory here for Tampa Bay. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Till next time, we say so long from the Bayou.